Hey guys, welcome to what is the first of building a social media platform in Golang. Yeah, so um, it is what it sounds like, right? So essentially, um, um, a few weeks ago, I was experimenting with a little project called CodePost.dev, which is actually currently in production, but as a very simple version. Um, basically, the idea was originally that you would, you know, create a code snippet um, like this, and it would give you a unique link, and you could have the option to share it to the community, right? So um, that's that's all built. So essentially you have like a link here with a unique slug or ID in the URL and the idea was, you know, if you didn't want it shared to the community, you wouldn't check this checkbox and you would just send it to another developer so they could copy some code, right? Um, but then beg the question of, ah, okay, what if someone wanted to delete or then edit a public post that they made public, right? Um, and in that scenario, it's like, okay, well, you know, you're going to need an account and you're also going to want to probably, you know, have some feedback on your post that you might post or you might want to edit your post and you might want to have a profile of all of your posts, right? And I was like, okay, right, let's just go full ahead and build a full stack um, social media platform for software developers in Golang. Um, yeah, so it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a weird project really, you know, as a former kind of like full stack developer where I'd write a lot of React and Vue and JavaScript and all that kind of fun stuff. It's, you know, I've took a step back from all of the React and, and having all these fancy JavaScript frameworks and I've just decided to build a full project in Go using its uh, templating engine, standard library, and we'll just kind of see how far we can push that um, as a social media platform. Um, so yeah, that, that's the current state of affairs of the production code posts. Um, this video, I just want to kind of go through what I've got in a moment and then kind of what we'll be building um, and I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on the project, I thought it would be a cool one to, to share along on YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is production, so you can go to codepost.dev, that's the main name, and you can already go and like mess around with this right, and, and give it a go. Um, for hosting, at the moment, it's currently using a um, hosting service called Railway.app. Um, Railway is really cool. It's really easy just to like spin up uh, a repository. I don't want to show any secrets or anything, but um, yeah, a repository which um, hooks in so you can you know host your run your API on, on a server, and that's what that's doing. And then at the moment, I've just got a Postgres instance here with um, you know the code snippets in there, and there's only one table. Um, so that's that's the kind of tech. It's a GoLang service with a Postgres backend. Um, I'm also using Superbase for authentication. So Superbase handles like, you know, OAuth 2 and it handles logins, um, which is really useful. Um, and I'll now go over kind of what I have locally at the moment. So I've decided, you know, I started working on, on some changes to, to, to the app. And um, one of those changes was regardless if you're logged in, I still want the core feature to be, you know, you can share a code post with a friend, right? So what we have here is the create a private post um, section so you can still create a private post you don't have to be logged in and you'll still get your own URL to send to someone else completely free um, no sign up page or anything right we've then got a recent post section which is just kind of recent post published on the app um, we've got public posts which would just show um, you know the latest public posts and then what I've currently done now is I've done the github login so you can log in with github and you can see I'm now logged in that would have been to the uh, github OAuth page but because I've already logged in with it before, it just takes you straight past that. Um, and then now you get a, you know, a my my account posts page, um, and this will be kind of managing your posts. Um, and then obviously I've got a simple logout button which all works and everything, right? Um, so that that's the current state of the local branch or the development branch, if you like, right? Um, and you know it's got some hate some X stuff in here. So when you're logged in, you just get this create a post form, which uses HTMX to just render this form when you click the button. So it's nice and fast. No like, no like me having to write JavaScript to like target a button and do all that. You know we don't want to be doing that on this channel. Um, yeah, so you can create a post as a logged in member, and then that would be stored and associated to your user. Um, so some of the next things we'll be building is the comments part, so you can leave a comment on a post, you can you know edit a post, delete a post, all that kind of usual create, update, delete stuff. Um, 
And I think, again, because this is the first video where I'm just kind of going over the project, I'm not really going to be implementing features in this video. Um, but I just thought it would be interesting just to show you the code base again. I know I'd done a bit of a video about production ready apps in Go before, and um, it's, it was the same repo. But I'm going to dive in a little bit more um, in detail here. Um, so you, you might remember from that video that you know, the whole idea of the structure of the API of the, of the actual code was for it to be fast. It wasn't meant to be perfect. There's no like domain driven design. There's no software patterns here. It's just literally, you know, API handlers um, that, you know, return some HTML basically, <laughs> render some forms and, um, you know, there's some login code in here now to like, you know, get the authenticated user, um, you know, associate it to a user. You know, th there's a few patterns like, you know, I've tried to handle dependency injection in case I wanted to change database, that kind of thing. But the core kind of like framework is just using Fiber. Um, so it's this Fiber package um, here, um, which is, you know, pretty good package. It has everything I need out of the box. So I just thought I'd use that. Um, and it all just runs from like this API um, type. So I'll just have all the methods kind of, you know, attached to it. And I just separate the endpoints per file, right? So I've got, you know, login authentication, which again uses the super base client to log in um, and handles, you know, getting a user from a Postgres database. and and that kind of stuff, right? Um, and again, you know, getting authenticated users. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a full stack social media platform and go. Uh, let me know what you guys think and let me know what features you think would be cool to implement on this. Um, like I say, I'm gonna keep this kind of short because this is the introduction to me actually, you know, claiming I'm gonna try to build a social media platform and go. Um, you can expect you know, implementing comments. It's probably going to be the, the first thing is implementing comments on posts from other users. Um, so that'd be an interesting one. Um, but the, yeah, there's not really much more to go over, really. I've just kind of... Oh, yeah, I, I suppose there's a few bits. Um, I'm just using vanilla HTML <laughs> and uh, CSS for this. So as someone who, you know, usually uses Tailwind and um, things like that, you know, it was... Um, it was a step backwards almost to go back to vanilla CSS. But I think it proves the point that like you don't need to be using the most new technology to, um, you know, to build applications. Like just pick something and stick to it, regardless if that's not a popular language or it's not the most modern way of doing something, and just go and build something. And that's exactly what I wanted to do with this project. Um, you know, and it was cool to get it out to production in the state that it is. Oh, where, where is it? Codepost.dev. It was cool to get it out in the state that it is, but it, you know, there's a lot of improvements we can make and, you know, make this more into a whole social media. Um, so let me know if you're excited. I'm definitely excited myself. Um, I think this could be a cool little project. And, and to be honest with you, there's a lot of it already here. Like login is there, um, you know, so um, there's a couple other little ideas I have, like a for you page for code posts. So we can kind of, you know, show you posts based on your, um, your kind of likings. Um, and I'll kind of build like a preferences page and all that kind of stuff and a querying thing and yeah it could be quite a cool little project I think and it would be a cool one to share with you guys um, especially for people that are looking to get into full stack go um, so yeah yeah keep, keep along for the journey hit that sub button if you want to see um, progress of copost.dev and um, of course I'll see you guys in the next video I guess